Yeah, so are you shaking out now? Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise in the foothills of the California Sierras on this gorgeous fall day. Tuesday morning, October 31st, 2017. It is Halloween day and I did not get my little goblin a Halloween costume. He's just going to dress up as Sancho Panza today. But anyway, guys, I'm sitting here procrastinating, dreading, heading back into the barn, back into the barn for my 10-hour shift, uh, doing what I do to make a living in the gig economy, in California's green gold economy. But before I do, I want to share one more comment of the day. We just enjoyed a comment about overpopulation from Alert Tribes member Marine Angeli in another rant, but I want to uh, give credit where credit is due to uh, Alert Tribes member A9. A9. I don't know if A9 is male or female, and this is A9's response to my uh, rant yesterday, advice to baby boomers freaking out over running out of money in the end times. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what does A9 have to say about this? No need to worry about running out of money. Money is about to run out on us. The us, you, period, s, period. <clears throat> Relax. There is going to be more and more paper around, which is a good thing, as you will need more and more paper for less available and ultimately the essential stuffs. I see a market for edible, durable goods on the horizon. Think washing machines and automobiles built from condensed forms of soy or hemp. So when the juice stops flowing, said goods can be smelted down into a nice soup, maybe a stew. Finally, I suggest saving those one to five pound gold ingots for tossing at the heads of the screaming hordes knocking down your front door looking for food, which might be you. The end times are not for pussies. Buckle up. Uh, there you go. A, a couple more here. Okay, David Henderson, speaking of paper. I have converted all of my money to toilet paper, which will be the new currency when the shit hits the fan. Get in early, folks. Three-ply will be worth more than gold. And I want to share... A, uh, we're going to wind up with one final comment. We have a 23-year-old joining the tribe. We don't have many 20-somethings joining this tribe of, of uh, growly old farts. But we're going to welcome uh, Adrian Carroll. Now, Adrian, I think Adrian is a male, but it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Adrian Carroll, quote, a, a lot of millennials complain about when and where they came to being. My 23 years of existence as a fat, privileged American has been more luxurious than nearly every human being 
to have ever walked the face of this planet. So what if I'm eating Soylent Green in a few years? We had a pretty good run. Besides, the average lifespan throughout human history was generally only about 25 to 35 years, and it was total shit. People have no gratitude or reflection. There you go. Thank you. It's, it's good to hear from the 23-year-old Soylent Green Eaters coming up. And uh, all kidding aside, Adrian, I, I, I do. Uh, I, I apologize. I apologize for uh, my part in creating your hellish future. Um, I mean, I really do. <clears throat> As a spoiled, planet-eating baby boomer. Uh, and I am just thank God every day uh, for my decision when I was your age to get a vasectomy to sterilize myself and not bring another future Soylent Green Eater onto this planet. My God, if I had a 23-year-old son or daughter right now. What the fuck? What the fuck? Anyway, but I do appreciate your sick, twisted sense of humor as you face the shit hitting the fan. Speaking of shit hitting the fan, I hear my... Uh, my fellow slaves gathering outside the barn. So I'm gonna wrap this up and uh, start my next 10 hour shift here of my indentured servitude in the gig economy. And I guess recommend you do the same on this gorgeous fall day, trick or treat, and happy Halloween. Bye guys. Yes, you little goblin dog. My little goblin dog. Say happy Halloween.